Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in operating system that is file accessing methods. So in our previous session, we have seen uh, the definition of a file as well as what are the different types of files, what is that file extension and etc. So in today's session, we'll see how can we access the data from the file or how can we insert the data into the file. So file accessing methods right so without delay let us start file accessing methods so here the file accessing methods is uh, nothing but accessing the data right so here the accessing of data accessing data so accessing means either reading from a file or writing into a file so accessing means reading or writing so we can also call it as a manipulations right so we know the definition of a file a file is a collection of data similar data which is stored in the secondary device so the data can be anything so it can be a group of characters it can be a records etc etc so here how many ways we can access that kind of data so there are three types or three categories or three ways we can access the data from the file so one is sequential access sequential access and the second one direct access and the third one indexed sequential access indexed sequential access so we'll see one by one so what happens and how we can uh, access the data in the sequential mode or direct mode or index indexed sequential so let us start with the sequential access so here the name itself indicates so uh, the data will be accessed in a sequence okay so data is accessed in a sequence so whatever the sequence we are uh, inserting the data in the same sequence the data will be accessed okay so here if you want to read an instruction the command will be the instruction will be read next so read next means the pointer will be pointing towards the next uh, pointer right the next memory location similarly write means write next write next write next means so the pointer will be moving towards the end of the data and whatever the data we are writing that will be appended at the end of the data so here data will be appended appended or write it at end always at end right so the best example for this sequential is our compilers so example for the sequence example is our compiler so because so whatever the compiler do means in whatever the sequence we are writing the instructions in the same order the sequence the instructions will be executed right so you might be knowing about the c language or python or java so the default control access is a sequential access so what in in whatever the way we are writing the instructions in the same way the instructions are being executed in all the different cases right so the compiler will be an example for the sequential access now what are the advantages advantages of using this uh, sequential access means so simple to implement very simple to implement very simple to implement okay and the main disadvantage the disadvantage of using this particular sequential access means so if you want to read the data which is far away you have to traverse each and every instruction until you reach to the destination 
so large amount of data should be traversed okay so more traversal should be needed more traversal should be needed right so if we want to uh, access the data which is at the beginning then it will be very easy for us so if the data which we want to retrieve is at the end automatically the data should be traversed the file pointer should be traversed from starting point to the end point because the in the data will be accessed only in a sequential way okay so this is all about our sequential access coming to the second category so that is called as a direct access direct access so here the data is accessed in random way random way means we need not go in a sequential order so we can directly move on to the block or record which we want to retrieve or which we want to access so it is not necessary to go in a sequential order so data can be accessed randomly randomly means whatever the block we want to access directly we can access that particular block okay instead of going in a sequential way so this is the direct access and here the main disadvantage so advantage advantage means less traversal less traversal because we need not uh, traverse each and every uh, instruction and disadvantage is it's a more complex to implement it is more complex to implement this is the main disadvantage of direct access for example if our file consists of a number of blocks different blocks of data so let it be b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 and b7 b means a block okay so if now we are at this position if you want to access the b6 directly you can move towards this b6 in this particular direct access but if if it is a sequential access b1 then b2 should be read b3 b4 b5 and this b6 and we have to traverse everything until you reach the destination that in a sequential access but in direct access directly you can move from b1 to b6 directly we can select the required block so a little bit complex to implement such kind of uh, access mechanism and very less traversal it, it need not traverse each and every uh, block of uh, instructions and the third category is a indexed sequential so which is an extension for the sequential so it is an indexed indexed sequential okay so here the indexed sequential what happens means the name itself indicates so for every block there will be an indexing okay so similar to uh, our book so if you consider any textbook we'll be finding the index at the beginning so we can easily find out the chapter which we want to read by directly moving on to that particular page number so that index page will be consisting of the chapters and the page numbers in a similar fashion index of sequence also it will maintain an index of all the memories so this is the index so let it be some 10 1000 uh, 1010 1020 so whatever it may be this is an address for example okay so if you want to access this 120 1020 so there there will be a memory so there there will be a, some data okay so all the memory addresses will be arranged in a, in an index so this is an index so which is being referenced to the actual memory which being referenced to the actual memory 
okay so this is called as a sequen indexed sequential indexed sequential so here the advantage is accessing will be efficient okay accessing will be efficient but the main disadvantage so this is an advantage and main disadvantage see external extra memory should be required extra memory is needed to store index of every memory so we require some extra memory to store this particular index page. right so this is called as an indexed sequential so these are the three mechanisms to access the data from a file so sequential access direct access and indirect indexed sequential access right so every access mechanisms are having the advantages and disadvantages so these many ways we can access the data access the data means reading the data from the file or writing the data into the file so manipulation some sort of manipulations will be done right yes so let's stop here and uh, hope you uh, enjoyed the session if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much